With 130,000 years of human prehistory, of which only the last 13,000 years have been documented because of the archaeological dogma that there was no point in looking deeper. Goodness knows what was happening here in that time that so far just nobody has cared to look for. It could have been the location of hitherto unrecognized advances and developments in the story of civilization. Welcome to the mysterious world of Gunung Padang, Southeast Asia's largest and most mysterious megalithic site, nestled deep in the mountains of West Java, Indonesia. Today, we're diving into the secrets of this ancient structure that dates back thousands of years. From hidden chambers beneath its massive stone terraces to controversial age, estimates that challenge our understanding of human history, what untold stories does Gunung Padang hold? Stay tuned as we uncover the layers of mystery surrounding this incredible archaeological puzzle. Gunung Padang is shrouded in mystery due to its extensive stone structures and enigmatic origins. The site, situated on a mountain about 30 kilometers southwest of Tianjur and 90 kilometers from Jakarta, first caught the attention of the international community during the Dutch colonial era in Indonesia. Reports dating back to the 1910s describe Dutch historians and archaeologists being intrigued by its large stones arranged in complex patterns. Despite these early recognitions, it wasn't until much later with the maturity of Indonesia's own archaeological institutions that Gunung Padang received more thorough exploration. In the mid-20th century, the site was sporadically studied by local researchers, and during the 1970s and the 1980s, Indonesian archaeologists conducted preliminary surveys, noting the extensive terraced structures. However, these were still relatively surface-level explorations. A significant turn in the investigation of Gunung Padang occurred in 2010 when Dr. Danny Hilman Natawijaja, a geologist associated with the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, took an active interest in the site due to its unique geological formations. Dr. Natawijaya's engagement marked the beginning of an in-depth exploration using modern technologies such as ground-penetrating radar, seismic tomography, and advanced radiocarbon dating techniques, which allowed researchers to peer beneath the surface and uncover layers and features previously unseen. From 2011 to 2012, Early radiocarbon tests on these layers suggested that the upper visible layers of the site were constructed between 500 and 1500 years ago, aligning with the age of other known megalithic sites in Southeast Asia. However, the narrative took a dramatic turn in 2013, when deeper investigations indicated the presence of layers that could date back to at least 9000 BC, and possibly as far back as 20,000 BC. These findings, which suggested a much older timeline for human civilization in Southeast Asia, were further complemented in 2014 by discoveries of potential man-made structures and chambers beneath the mountain's surface, adding layers of mystery and complexity to the site's construction. The implications of these findings are profound, stirring significant debate among the archaeological community. If the estimations hold true, they would indicate that advanced societies capable of complex construction projects existed in Southeast Asia far earlier than previously believed. The exploration of Gunung Padang not only challenges our understanding of prehistoric human activity, but also stirs national pride in Indonesia, leading to increased support from the government for archaeological research to delve deeper into the country's ancient history. This ongoing research continues to unveil new facets of the site, promising to enrich our understanding of early human societies. Gunung Padang is a fascinating archaeological site that showcases the ancient engineering and architectural prowess of its builders. Perched atop a hill and sprawling over an area of roughly 900 square meters, this site is one of Southeast Asia's most significant megalithic complexes. The builders employed a variety of rectangular andesite stones, a volcanic rock noted for its hardness, which they arranged into massive terraces that narrate the tale of different epochs and construction techniques. The stones at Gunung Padang vary widely in size, with some weighing several tons and the largest reaching up to seven meters in length and weighing over 40 tons. The method used to arrange these heavy stones into terraces would have required not only a sophisticated knowledge of engineering, but also the use of tools like levers, wooden rollers, and perhaps the power of humans or animals. Surrounding these terraces are walls built from columnar joints of volcanic rocks. 
These walls serve both functional and aesthetic purposes, indicating that the ancient builders not only sought durability against weathering, but also had an eye for design. Radiocarbon dating of the organic materials found within the soil layers tells us that the upper visible layers of the site were constructed between 500 and 1500 BC. However, it is the deeper, less visible layers that truly captivate archaeologists, as advanced imaging techniques suggest there could be constructions buried that date back farther. If these findings prove accurate, Gunung Padang would not only be the oldest known megalithic site in Southeast Asia, but would also rival the age of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which is currently considered one of the world's oldest temple complexes. One intriguing theory about Gunung Padang is that it might have served as more than just a communal or ceremonial center. It could have had astronomical purposes. Some researchers believe that the arrangement of the stones and the orientation of the terraces could align with celestial bodies and significant events like solstices and equinoxes, a practice observed in other ancient megalithic sites around the world. This suggests that the site's creators had a sophisticated understanding of astronomy, which they incorporated into their religious and social practices. When compared to Stonehenge in England, which was built between 3000 BC and 2000 BC, Gunung Padang's potential origins around 20,000 BC place it much earlier in the timeline of megalithic construction. While both sites share similarities in their possible astronomical significance and their use of large stones, Gunung Padang's terraces add a unique layer of complexity and grandeur, suggesting that megalithic culture in Southeast Asia could be far older than previously understood. Continuing our exploration of Gunung Padang, let's delve deeper into the remarkable aspects that highlight its ancient architectural ingenuity and potential cosmological significance. The site's construction techniques are particularly impressive due to the massive columnar basalt rocks that comprise its structure. Not native to the immediate area, these rocks were transported several kilometers, showcasing the ancient builders' advanced knowledge in engineering and logistics. The likely method of moving these heavy stones involved rolling them over logs, a challenging feat given the terrain and the weight of the stones, which could reach several tons. Furthermore, the layout of Gunung Padang may reflect more than just architectural intent. It seems to mirror an astronomical blueprint similar to that of Stonehenge or the Pyramids of Giza, which align with solstices and other celestial events. This alignment suggests that Gunung Padang might have served as an ancient observatory, with certain stones positioned to mark solar and lunar events, thereby serving a practical purpose in agricultural and ceremonial life. Recent investigations have brought to light another fascinating feature, large underground chambers revealed through geophysical surveys. These chambers could potentially be ancient burial sites or storage for cultural artifacts, representing older construction phases concealed beneath more recent layers. This discovery hints at a much larger and more complex site than what is visible on the surface. The debates surrounding the age of Gunung Padang are as lively as they are pivotal. Some researchers suggest that the site could be up to 22,000 years old, based on indirect dating methods such as analyzing sediment layers and geological formations. These controversial estimates, if proven correct, would challenge the established timelines of human civilization and technology development, making Gunung Padang a key site for understanding prehistoric human societies. Additionally, there are speculative theories about the carvings and inscriptions found at Gunung Padang, possibly indicating cultural links with other distant ancient civilizations. These theories, while not yet proven, suggest that the site could have connections as far-reaching as Africa or the Indian subcontinent, hinting at a more interconnected prehistoric world. An interesting comparison can be drawn between Gunung Padang and Nan Madol, located on the island of Pohnpei in the western Pacific Ocean. Known as the Venice of the Pacific, Nan Madol features ruins linked by canals and constructed with large basalt logs, similar to the massive stone pillars used at Gunung Padang. Both sites demonstrate advanced quarrying, transporting, and assembly techniques in challenging environments, showcasing the ingenuity of their builders and possibly suggesting exchanges of cultural practices and technological knowledge across vast distances. These comparisons not only underline the architectural achievements of these ancient builders, but also enrich our understanding of their capabilities and the extent of their cultural interactions.